Well, today we've got a theory about growing onions that's been disproved. So, let's get on with it and I'll tell you about it. mention a name because I don't think that's fair some things you learn just by stuff happens you know it's just like me with the the marigolds and the squash bugs a year or so ago I happened to have <coughs> a kind of a bad time getting this marigold started I had a squash plant at one end of one of a of the same bed a good little supply of marigolds around it, a squash plant at the other end with none. Uh, squash bug season showed up. Sure enough, the squash with no marigolds got the squash bugs. The other one did not, even though they were just a few feet away. Well, until you come into a situation like that, there's a lot of things that make sense to you that you can't prove and you can't disprove. Well, one of the prominent YouTube gardeners, uh, I, I was watching his channel and he was talking about growing big bulb onions. And one of the things he was talking about was that when he has a leaf that folds over, he goes ahead and cuts that leaf off. Because he knows that eventually that top folds over and that's it, and that's the end of the game. You know, at that point, you might as well dig them. Well, it made sense. And I was consider, seriously considering trying that this year until something happened. About a week ago, I did a video talking about my onions. In fact, I was behind, right by my onion bed when I did it. And talking about how tickled I was that I was actually growing bulb onions this year. And then like a day later maybe two days i forget exactly we had a little microburst kind of storm come through laid about half of them down bent the stems tops are laying on the ground and i'm thinking damn lost it all just like that just mother nature took it well how better luck next year but then a couple of days later i walked by them and Tops are still blown over. They haven't straightened back up, but the bulb's still getting bigger. Oh, but damn. So I keep watching them, and next thing I know, I see a few days later, well, hell, some of them got a another leaf coming up out of that bent over stem, and the leaf is sticking up straight at the end of it. So that leads me to believe that what's going on is this, okay? If the stem gets folded over prematurely because of a storm or something, they keep growing. They're just going to keep growing. When, when it folds over because it's time, there's probably nothing you can do to fix it. You know, if it's just time and that runions reach maturity and it's done with growth cycle for this year, you pull it. Okay? But just because you got a leaf or two falling over, or the top gets blown over, does not mean they're done. It doesn't mean that at all. In fact, I recall people telling me that years ago, that it, working in the onion fields in other countries, that they would tie the, take the tops at one point and tie them in a knot, so that the onion would quit growing the top and grow the bulb. So, okay, I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show you what I got going on. Oh, be careful of the electric fence. Granddaughter found out what that does today. It was, 
it was sad but okay as you can see some of them are bent over some of them aren't but this bulb that's almost twice as big as it was the other day same here bent over but you see here we've got leaves coming out they're sticking up same here and there's one that's actually kind of standing itself back up and you can look down the row and you can see leaves that are standing back up and looking good now even though and like I say all the bulbs seem to still be growing well all right I'm going to show you one more quick thing I want you to meet an important member of my family a new member of the family somebody maybe you haven't had a chance to see all right well right there is my new dog Bob now I think two or three weeks ago maybe that I was doing a video about my container plants and Bob's just a very friendly puppy dog sweet good-natured now Bob <laughs> the the name is kind of a joke almost and of course Bob doesn't care Bob's actually a girl but uh, I was kind of teasing my granddaughter and we were driving my, my bulldog that made a little appearance in in the video where I was talking about container plants he comes strolling through the through the screen and so I uh, he was about 11 to 12 years old and and bulldogs just don't live that long I mean they usually eight to nine years is the, is tops nine's a pretty old bulldog well unfortunately about a few days later he was done and it was time to take him to the vet for that last trip to the vet and I really just tore me up to do it but you know what are you gonna do he was suffering his heart was giving out so I took him well I'm, I've always had a dog. I just, I just always have had a dog. I'm, I'm just so used to getting up in the morning, and one of the first thoughts is to take care of that dog. Let's let the dog out. Let's feed the dog. Let's make sure the dog's okay. You know. And now that I'm retired, the idea of not having a buddy to jump in the truck with me and run across town to do a little errand, I just, I just can't deal with it. So we were going to a refuge play uh, uh rescue dog place very nice one and it was out kind of out in the country and i had my granddaughter with me my granddaughter was saying on the way out there well grandpa you know if you find a dog what are you going to name it now i was joking with her because you know most of the time they've already got a name you know whether it's the name the dog originally had or they've made up a name themselves and, and you know they have a name for the dog and I said I'm gonna call it Bob oh grandpa she went on and on about what a terrible name that was for a dog so in the meantime we go down there and we look around at, at the dogs and of course you know the situation you go to a place like this and they have a lot of dogs okay all of a sudden here's a new person on the site and you know I'll give you the back view of the containers in the garden while I'm finishing this story a uh, new person on the site so all the dogs are just going ape shit and jumping up and down and just having a fit and so uh, you know I decided uh, you know it was just hard they they'd bring a dog out and be on a leash and oh, there he goes time to go run the run the perimeter see what's going on and the dog couldn't settle down enough for for you to pet him and for him to for get an idea really what his personality was like well we got to bob's cage and he just let bob out bob took off across the yard and i'm thinking oh my gosh he said no no i let him out all the time and he'll run around for a few minutes and he'll come back 
So we're standing there talking, and within a few minutes, he whistles for him. Here comes Bob, just as relaxed, nothing going on. Uh, so I decided, well, you know, this is the dog for me. He says, she doesn't even try to leave the yard. He says, it's not fenced, but she knows the perimeter of the yard, and she stays right there. She's happy. So I brought Bob home. And on the way home, it's now this is, mind you, a female dog and granddaughter again. Well, Grandpa, what are you going to name it? I said, naming it Bob. You know, just teasing her because she had had such a fit the first time. And he's, oh, Grandpa, you can't, it's a girl dog. You can't name it Bob. I said, we're going to tell people it's short for Bobby. So it stuck. And now, you know, she calls her Bobby and I call her Bob. And, you know, Bob doesn't care one way or the other. So, all right. That's all I can tell you for today. You all have a quality day.